channel. Today we're going to talk about what is in my baby girl's hospital bag. So I am 33 weeks pregnant today. Um, actually, sorry, I'm 33 weeks and one day pregnant and I um, have already started to pack baby girl's hospital bag um, mainly because I wanted to go ahead and record this video because I have a lot coming up with having a winter baby during the holiday season. I just wanted to make sure that I get these videos up for you guys on my channel and also because I'm an overpacker and an over planner. So I hope you enjoy this video and we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So first of all, I'm going to show you what my baby girl's bag looks like. I've already taken everything out after packing it and we're going to pack it back in there. Um, so this is what the bag looks like. It's pretty basic. Um, and we have a little bottle holder. I do have some bottles that I sanitize. I will probably put um, a bottle in here. Um, even though I do plan to nurse, I've heard it's a really good idea to go ahead and just keep a bottle in the diaper bag even if you don't plan on using one. Um, I guess sometimes you might have to. So um, I will put a bottle in there that's already sanitized. Um, and then in this pocket right here, I have um, some things that will just stay in her diaper bag moving forward. Um, so I have these pacifier, um, it's like for pacifier and toys and stuff. It's just like little anti, uh, bacteria wipes and I heard those are really nice to have. And then I have some purely simple by honest company face and body lotion. Um, and I know that we won't be using this right away because I know you're not really supposed to use lotion on newborns for a while. So I'll just have it in her bag for when it's time. And then this is a foaming hand sanitizer by Baby Ganix. So I just figured this would be nice to have for me in the hospital bag um, because things can get messy. Um, and for now, that's really all. This is just the little case that the nursing car seat cover goes in. So I'll show you that real quick. Oh, and on the side, I just have a pack of sensitive wipes, and that's all. And then I pack just a few diapers in the back here. Um, I know my hospital is going to provide diapers, but I did hear that the only wipes they provide are the kind that you have to get wet. And um, I just figured it might be easier to go ahead and pack my own wipes and a few diapers for the road home just in case you never know um, what can happen on the way home. We have about a 40 minute drive after we leave the hospital to our house. So I just wanted to have everything we would need for baby girl just in case, um, even though the hospital will provide diapers. So those are the things so far. So right now we're gonna go over um, all of the clothes. So this is the nursing cover slash um, car seat cover that goes in that little carrying bag. I'm probably going to end up putting this on the car seat and um, I don't really think I'll need a nursing cover really for the hospital, but this will be great for the car seat. So it's going to go in her diaper bag for now. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with her clothes. So this is going to be like her first little outfit I think we'll put her in because it's like really, really pretty and soft. And when we have visitors, I feel like this will be a really comfy and cozy, cute thing for her for pictures. And we have a matching hat for it. And if this little hat doesn't fit, we also have this one. So I think either of those would look really good. And then I also have a cream one that's just like this burgundy one as well. And I'll show you that in a minute. But this is just a little gown. So for the hospital stay, this will be perfect because it'll be easy to change her. Um, and I just feel like it'll be really nice and cozy. Um, it's long sleeve and it has the fold over mittens and um, I really like that, so. So that's going to be like her first outfit that we put her in. And then we'll have for another night, we'll have another gown 
And for her little hat to match, we have a little black um, knotted bow hat. And we also have, you know, other hats. And I'm sure the hospital will provide a newborn hat as well. Um, I just want to make sure she has a hat for every outfit because um, we are having a winter baby. And I know that they really need hats. So I just brought a bunch of hats. And I just can't help it because they're so cute. Um, so those are two hospital um, stay outfits. And then we have a couple sleepers. So I packed a couple different sizes because I have no idea how big she'll be. So this is actually a zero to three month and it's just a long sleeve footy sleeper. And it's really cute. And all of this has already been washed in newborn detergent. So it's all really clean. Oh, I gotta reach. <laughs> and then this is a newborn sleeper as well. Um, actually, I didn't mean as well. The other one's zero to three months. Um, but this one's really stretchy, so I felt like it would be like a good in between. Um, I feel like even if she is a little bit of a bigger baby, she'll definitely fit in this because it's that old navy stretch and it's really, really soft and really really cute it's just plain pink so I thought that would be good for comfy um, I'm not sure what she's gonna go home in yet but I'll show you everything and we'll just decide I just have lots of options and this is a sleeper and this one has the fold over mittens just in case I'd rather have those um, and this one is a newborn and it's just a little pink and white stripe so those are the three sleepers we have two newborns and one zero to three months and this is a little pink hat that I thought would look cute with any of them so we're gonna bring those together so I just figured those would be like practical outfits for her to be cozy and comfortable so we also have a couple cuter outfits um, and these are just kind of like optional outfits for going home. Um, they're kind of all different and I wasn't really sure um, which one I would choose. Um, I just wanted to make sure we had plenty of different sizes. So we have these onesies. This is a zero to three month onesie. And we have this onesie, which is also a zero to three month, which I think is so cute. And then I also got a newborn, just a plain white long sleeve fold over mitt onesie. And then another newborn onesie with fold over mittens that is just pink. And then I got some uh, short sleeve. This one says brand sparkling new. I don't know if we'll be using this or not because it is short sleeved. I'm not sure if we'll need it, but I just figured I would pack just in case I wanted to layer underneath her gowns or whatever. So then I have a zero to three month, um, just a white short sleeve onesie as well. And then I packed four pairs of pants. Um, mainly I packed four pairs of pants because um, I've heard that sometimes when you're getting ready to go home, they end up having a blowout and they um, have to change and you don't have a, like a cute outfit for them to go home in. And I really want her to have like a cute outfit to go home in because um, I have some ideas of what I want her to look like for, for that. So then I have some just like little baby jeggings that are newborn size. And these can really go with any of these. Um, so my idea for her to go home is for us to have matching hats. So one of my good friends got me this super cute matching hat. And I will probably end up wearing my hair like this. And then she has her own little baby one. So we have that. And then she also has these little boots. So just imagine little baby girl. She's going to have her hat. See, so put on that shoulder, and I know that wearing little booties is probably not practical. These are newborn size, 
and I figured we could just put them on her and see if they stay on. Not a big deal if they don't. Um, I did pack plenty of socks for her. Um, so we're thinking maybe some jeggings and um, like this little pink onesie. I would love for her to fit in these newborn ones because they have the foldover mittens. So that's ideal. Um, and then she also has this super cute, because we're having a winter baby, um, the super cute fur vest. So that's my idea for her going home outfit. And then for me, you'll see in my what's in my hospital bag video for myself what I'm going to plan to go home in. So we'll be kind of twinning and I just think that'll be so cute and warm and cozy. And it won't be something that she'll be uncomfortable in. It'll be warm and practical, but super cute. And it's so my style. Um, but either way, she could wear the white one with her jeggings. Or she can wear this if it um, fits her better. Or she could wear this one. So we have four different options. Um, and then for pants, we also have... I'm going to take this off. So then for pants, we also have these little zero to three month pants with the ruffles at the bottom, which I thought would be pretty cute with this little pink um, onesie for a zero to three month outfit. And she could wear the hat or whatever with that. And then I, I thought that these pants would look really cute. They're just like little ruffle butt pants. And they're also zero to three months. And I thought they would be cute with this little outfit and her little hat. So we're gonna play dress up, I'm sure, but I know it's gonna make her angry to change her, so we're gonna try to just hope she fits in newborn because I know that that outfit will be simple and cute. And then, of course, I think just the jeggings will look perfect with either of these, but then I also have these little newborn pants and they're just like little footed pink pants and they would go great with the white. So we have that option for her going home and lounging around the hospital. Um, so basically she has like two options for going home and two options um, in each size. So that was my plan just in case, you know, she soiled her cute going home outfit I wanted to have plenty of options. And then I also have this little set I debated on bringing. Um, it says Brand Sparkling New, and it has this super cute little hat and pants to match, and it's a newborn size. And it was a gift from my brother-in-law and mother-in-law. Um, so I just thought this would be super cute for pictures. Um, so it's an, it's an optional, um, going home outfit as well, but uh, it's also a really good option for just pajamas or whatever around the hospital. Um, it all just depends on how big this baby is. Um, so I just wanted to have plenty of cute options for her and make sure that we had enough um, actual outfits that would be practical and cute. So the accessories that I brought her are these little bear mittens that are really cute and then I also brought her these mittens because I wanted to make sure that I had like two different options because um, these look like they might stay on her hands a little easier better so I just brought two pairs of those and then I have these socks that I got on Amazon and they're really cute and they're supposed to stay on their feet really much better than a lot of them um, but we'll see but I just thought those would be perfect and um, comfortable for her and then I also brought these little white socks from Gerber Organics and then I packed a bib I don't think I'll use it but it's just a cute little bib um, I doubt that I'll use it but I just wanted to make sure I had something um, and then I brought, brought a um, just like a birth cloth it's like a cloth diaper um, very absorbent I just wanted to have this in there for whatever comes up and then I also have a couple more things so I also have this little vest it's um, newborn size and 
it's really warm. I just want to make sure that whenever we are going from the hospital to the car that she is super warm and comfortable because I have no idea what the weather will be like when she's born in December or January. So um, I just want to make sure that we have plenty of layers for her. And then the other hat, I don't know if I showed you this one yet, but this is the cream one that I was talking about. So it'll go, go really well with um, any of those outfits. And then this is just like a light pink bow. I don't know if she'll just wear a bow or not. Um, I feel like I just want her to be warm and cozy. I don't know. So I just brought one little bow just in case I decide that I want to put a bow on her. Um, and then we also have this little bear hat and it's just really cute. Um, I thought it would be like a simple hat for some of her sleepers for just like being comfortable around the hospital. Um, and then over here we have, so that's really it for all her clothes. Um, the other things that I have for her are her web and up and I don't know if I'll use this right away. I just wanted to pack it just in case. Um, it just depends on what my lactation specialist says and everything, but this is her web and up. It's so cute. Um, and I'll show you what her baby blanket looks like in a minute and you'll be loving how cute they are together. And then this is a muslin swaddle blanket and it just really goes with her whole theme. Um, it's just really pretty with the little animals and um, pink decor on it. And then I wasn't sure if I would use this or not, but went ahead and packed it because we have so many of them. But it's a Velcro swaddle and it even has like the little hole for monitoring and everything. Um, but I know that some people are really bad at swaddling and swaddling a newborn is supposed to be really important. So um, I just wanted to make sure that we had a good swaddle that I could use right off the bat. So I just brought that. And then I also packed this. This is just a sound machine. Um, I don't know necessarily if I will really need it for her, but I know my husband and I are used to sleeping with a fan in the room. So I figured this would be good for all of us to have like some sort of sound machine to help us sleep. So um, we'll see <laughs> how much sleep we get in the hospital, but it's so small. So I figured why not just pack it and have it just in case we need it. Um, so that's really everything. I'm going to show you her baby blanket and I'm also going to bring the letter board because I think this will be really cute for her um, pictures in the hospital. So I'm going to grab her baby blanket. So this is her baby blanket. It has her name on it, Adeline May. And it's really, really cozy and warm. So this will be perfect for keeping her cozy and warm. And the inside has a faux fawn fur. And if you are interested in this blanket, I will leave the shop down below. Um, it comes from Precious and Pink. And let me see, there's a tag on here. It's from Etsy, preciousandpink.etsy.com. So I will leave a link below if I can find the shop and link it. Um, but she did a really good job and it was, um, it was, it was really easy to work with her and I will definitely purchase from her again. So just so cute. Her little dear Wubbanub is so cute with this. So that is everything and I am going to now record my what's in my hospital bag for mom and if you're interested in that video I can link it below as soon as I get it posted um, but just be looking out on my channel don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and um, thank you for watching I hope this video was helpful for you um, and if you feel like I'm missing something for baby girl, please let me know because I've done so much research and I just wanted to make sure that I was prepared. Um, I know the hospital provides so much for you in the hospital, so um, I just wanted to make sure that I had everything and more. But yeah, just let me know if there's something that I'm missing. 
Um, I did make a list and I need to double check it, but um, I feel like I have plenty for baby girl. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and be done with this video and start recording the next one. And I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.